When managing the nutrition of young calves on milk, it's very important to remember that we must develop the rumen as well as grow the calf. No matter what the weight at weaning, if the digestive system is not ready for a forage diet, then calves will suffer setbacks post weaning. Having good rumen development ensures a much smoother transition at this critical phase of growth. Rumen development begins by getting calves to eat solid feed. High starch feed works best because it provides the right type of energy to grow the rumen wall. Starter concentrate should be introduced within the first seven to 10 days. Calves will consume very little ration initially, but it is important to kickstart development. Starter coarse rations with a high cereal and protein content should be used and molasses can increase palatability. Compounded feed can be introduced when calves have settled into eating starter ration. The change to pelleted ration should be gradual to prevent gorging and bloating. Calf rations should have a crude protein content of at least 18% and an energy value of at least 0.96 UFL per kilo. At weaning, the calf should be averaging at least one kilogram of ration intake per day over a period of four to five days. It is important to make sure that milk intake is gradually phased out at this time to encourage increased concentrate intake. In addition to meals, good quality long forage should be made available to calves. The intake of roughage will be small initially at only 10 to 20 percent of solid feed intake, but it does encourage foraging behaviour. Choice of roughage available is important. Clean, coarse straw chopped to 30 to 40 millimetres in length is ideal. Excessive intake of long fibre should be avoided as it can cause poor digestion and result in pot bellied calves. There is a greater risk of this when feeding hay rather than chopped straw. Finally, clean fresh water should be provided at all times from an early age. This should be from a piped drinker and not from a standing source.